Maceo Parker put some pep in your step. Profile style. From the days of James Brown to the days of the new millennium, Parker's got your funky beat. I sort of fell in love with music at a very early age. I uh, recognized uh, the fact that music uh, had a um, had had a substance. It was something about music that uh, that that tend to make you feel good, make you happy. We sang a lot as kids. Uh, my I remember my mother and father. Um, uh, it, you know, taking us to the Sunday school, the church, and we always, there was a piano around all the time, there was always singing. And uh, I believe uh, the, the poor living conditions that we probably were under were somewhat camouflaged because of music. And, and um, you know, I just, I just noticed how, you know, when we sang the songs all day, or she sang the songs all day, it just kept her in a, in a happy mood. And that made me sort of close to music, um, you know, not knowing that I would grow up, you know, uh, and music being part of my life. I didn't know that at that time, but I knew that it had an element, you know, where it just made people feel good. Music was like part of the um, growing experience for me. Uh, again, I noticed that you know it, it was just it just made you feel good. So I um, and then I can remember as far back when I uh, witnessed my first parade, you know, and being all excited and very happy about that. Uh, you know, I couldn't wait until I got big enough to march. You know, once I oh that's marching. Oh wow. I knew it was, you know, the fanfare of the loud horns and the drums and the cymbals and all that. I mean, it really floored me. I was really like, wow, I want to do that. Uh, but I was taking piano lessons at the time. And, uh, you know, I remember, you know, taking a mom and saying, hey, hey, you know, where, where's the piano? Well, you know, the piano is a little large, not a marching instrument. But I want to do that. I, you know, I, I got to do that. Maybe I can play one of those things there, you know, um, saxophone. And I, that's really how I got interested in the saxophone, because I just wanted to march with it. <laughs>
we started a group, uh, me and my brothers, um, I got a brother who played trombone, another brother, brother who played uh, drums, some cousins and all that. We just started a group. And why, why that is important to mention is because uh, when I was in the fifth grade, you know, we were going to the nightclubs playing. You know, we shouldn't have been there, but we were there. And the, the way the situation was, uh, my uncle had a group, and uh, whatever we heard them play, we tried to learn and play. And once we got to the point where we could play one tune, two tunes, maybe three tunes, he'd take us to the nightclubs, put us in the dressing room, they would play, and then he'd have us come out during their break. And, you know, we'd play with three songs, and then he'd take us home. But uh, the fifth grade, sixth grade, right on through um, uh, what is it, pre high school and and, uh, and high school and right to college where we met James Brown. So um, I, I think the the one element that you need, uh, you know, if you're gonna play a perform, is experience. And all the way to get the experience is to do. You know, you do from year, year, year after year. And that's what we did. Uh, so by the time I was a sophomore, I believe, in college is when I met James Brown. And uh, I was well into maybe um, uh, feeling com comfortable about what I felt Macy was about, uh, you know, playing the saxophone, the same as my brother. Uh, but James Brown heard my brother play drums and he, and he offered him a job. And I think about a year later when we decided to get out of school is when we got the job uh, with James Brown. When we return, Maceo talks about how a little help from his friends went a long way with the creation of Dial Maceo, his year 2000 release. We got a telephone call saying, James Taylor's on his, is on his way down. Try to have something for him to do. And I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> wow. Witness the never-before-seen footage that even Playboy wouldn't release. Party with the hottest celebrity. Newfound fame is shining brighter than ever since the year 2000 release of Dial Maceo. That's in the pee patch. Catch him, catch him, ooh, rabbits in the pee patch, huh, do what? What? Rabbits in the pee patch, catch him, catch him, ooh, rabbits in the pee patch, what you say, huh? Rabbits in the pee patch, catch him, catch him, what? The rabbits in the pee patch, the rabbits, the rabbits, rabbits in the pee patch, catch him, catch him, ooh, rabbits in the pee patch. I have a lot of supporters out there who uh, who remember uh, you know the James Brown sound, the James Brown stuff, and you know and the, and the Bootsy stuff and the George Clinton stuff. So I have a lot of supporters out there who expect uh, you know the funky side of of, of Maceo. So I sort of I, 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 I uh, lean a little bit toward that side a lot. Uh, uh, but when I when I did dial Maceo. Uh, my first thought was to try and get some outside help, you know, just to give the writers a little bit more to talk about other than, you know, okay, Maisha has done another album and, you know, the same thing and the same band and the same other thing. But I figured if I could get outside influence this time, some outside help, then maybe they'd give them more to write about and maybe, you know, those listeners and those, those people who just walk around and kind of, you know, fiddling through stuff and trying to figure out you know, who's on what and what's on who and all that. Um, you know, who's playing this, who's playing that, what songs you, you're using. If they heard that, maybe I'm using uh, Andre DeFranco on one and James Taylor on another one and, and through Prince, uh, um, Michelle Crow and Prince. So I figured, uh, you know, at the time I didn't know that, you know, I, I was going to have these particular people, but I felt like if I could get somebody of name, you know, with name going, it, it, it would, uh, it would uh, make it, uh, better for me and somehow uh, you know being lucky I suppose I was able to you know to, to write a song and have Honor DeFranco uh, sing it um, I, I did another one that James Taylor is doing the background you know Rabbit's 
Rabbit in the bee bag. Rabbit in the bee bag. Catch it, catch it. It just makes you feel that you've done something, or you're going full circle, you know what I mean? Uh, or, or, or you finally arrived, uh, people sort of now know who you are. Um, because the way, the way the story was told to me, the way James Taylor came uh, to us, it was, uh, I think his uh, son or daughter, or both, I think they live in uh, Colorado, we play in Colorado a lot, you know, with the, with the college uh, kids. And they heard about the concept of trying to get, you know, outside help. I think they called their father and said, listen, uh, Macy was in New York, they're recording there. You're just going to, you know, I, you're going to be in New York next week. Maybe they're still there. Why don't you give them a call and go by the studio and, uh, you know, see if you, could, you can contribute. And, you know, and, and then we got a telephone call saying, James Taylor is on his, is on his way down. Try to have something for him to do. And I'm going, wait a minute. <laughs> wow. You know, and, and, and. You know, again, this just makes you feel that, you know, hey, you made a, a right choice thousands of years ago when you decided, you know, that you would be in music that, and hopefully, uh, you know, you have, you know, a, a little su success in it. My name is Maceo. The main thing for, for me is just a tour. I enjoy touring. I, um, I, I like bringing you know, what we bring to the festivals, to the venues. We try to bring a, a sense of uh, joy, happiness, uh, and give people a reason to, uh, you know, we have a tune called Shake Everything You Got, you know, to do that if you feel like it. You know, you're in that mood to party. Uh, and uh, I, I feel that that's important, you know, to give people an outlet to, uh, to just sort of let it, you know, all hang out, you know, as you say. Um, and, and we do that. We pro provide that vehicle for, for people to, um, to sort of, you know, just, just have fun. And uh, again, I feel like that's important. And we do that just because we love the music and we love the people. The outside amphitheater kind of uh, setting is, is, is always nice, of course. Uh, is, you, to me, you get that festival setting. And the festival is, uh, you know, got the lawn thing, with, you know, everybody's sort of sitting, there, sitting around. Some people bring their lawn chairs and, you know, you sit in the, and, you, uh, and music is in the air. Music is the, is the theme. Uh, and you don't really have to do a lot of dancing, a lot of moving to enjoy what's going on. Uh, but we're gonna try to do that. We're gonna try to get them up off that lawn, and you know, into into doing the thing. So I really enjoy uh, Wolf Trap simply because it has that uh, atmosphere where uh, you can be cool if you like, you know, and you can enjoy on a, on a on a uh, on a good day when the weather's really good, like it is today. Uh, you can really enjoy it, and uh, so we were very excited about being here. Let's take a close look at the Wolf Trap experience. This stunning woodland setting with the blue skies or stars above attracts artists from every musical genre. It's where diverse audiences, performances, and Mother Nature come together to create a perfect match. Enjoy the patchwork of sights and sounds in every hour of Profiles at Wolf Trap, a show for music fans by music fans. Profiles at Wolf Trap takes you backstage and center stage for a true musical experience from from America's National Park for the Performing Arts. When we say, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, I do you know what I'm talking about? I do you know what I'm talking about? Hey, Melvin, after you know, do you know what I'm talking about? I do you know what I'm talking about? When we say, ooh, yeah. Join us next yeah. time for another musical journey unlike Ooh, any yeah. other, only on Profiles Ooh, at yeah. Wolf Trap. Is it 516th or not?